Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we'll work on exercise number two. To start off, we'll go to File, New and double click on the empty part template. We have the workspace open. Let's go to the sketch and start doing the sketch here. Let's start by doing the front sketch here on the front plane and we will just start with the line tool. We'll just make sure that our sketch has some connection with the uh, origin so so that the uh, this part of the sketch is been constrained already. Now let's go to the smart dimension and dimension this. That will be 33 50 and this will be 12 this will be 12 and this height will be 18 as we can see the sketch is fully constrained let's exit the sketch and go for features surfaces and go for extrude surface let's extrude the surface on the other side with the thickness of 40 here So when you do this, you need to also analyze how we have done the same model using um, solid modeling. That is this uh, extrude bosom base features. Now we have this surface being created. As I've told you before, these surfaces are of zero thickness and these surfaces are the surface modeling is used in order to do complex surface designs. As you do in this, it will be a little difficult for you, but as we progress, you'll be able to do complicated designs in surfaces in simple way now let's what we can do will be to fill this surface as well so use the fill surface and fill it here click on the tick mark and also you can fill this portion As we do not have a sketch here, we just have to show the software what are the edges that we would like to close. Now, we need to have a point here. So to create a point, select that edge and go for features and use the point tool. And here you can give distance and in distance you can mention as 6mm. As 6mm is what we have to create the point at. Now let's go to the plane once again and then click on the created point and click this point and this point here and we have a plane there. Let's put the tick mark and now what we can do is to use the trim surface command and select the plane as the element and here you can select this portion and this portion is a portion to keep and click on the tick mark and that's, that portion is taken out now what we can do finally will be as you can see there's an opening here what we can do is just use the fill command and select these edges here in order to fill them click on the tick mark and that's filled and that's it about exercise number two. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you and stay tuned. Thank you for watching. 
If you have any doubts on this video, put them on the comment section and I'll try to respond to them as early as I can. If you think my videos are helpful, hit the like, subscribe and share button. If you're interested to get How Engineers Do It t-shirt, you can get it by contacting me. I've put an image of it on the next slide. Here's the t-shirt. If you've got any CAD related requirements, don't hesitate to contact me anytime. I'm always looking forward to work with you. You can personally get in touch with me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com. Thank you for your time and stay tuned.